Hi all, welcome again to Universe Selenium with C Sharp for beginners. And this is for the beginners only, right? So they can easily understand what exactly the Selenium is all about, right? And they can understand the C Sharp also. So while learning, we can understand this what exactly the C Sharp is. So don't worry about it. It is very easy to learn, right? Okay, right. Now, uh, let's start. The first step is we need a Visual Studio. Okay, right. And we can go with the Community Edition. So when we talk about the C Sharp or C Hash, correct. So it is a .NET uh, related language, right? We can say that it is on the, that the particular platform that is a .NET platform, right? Okay, so obviously we require this, a Visual Studio Community Edition, okay? So we have to go to the Google and download this, you know, the Visual Studio Community Edition, and then we can install it. So I've been already downloaded. So let's get started with you know, the Visual Studio setup. A very important thing, I have not been installed any .NET framework and any other stuff, which is a prerequisite for this. Okay, so once I click on it, so it will definitely ask me to install you know, the .NET framework and all. So in the background, it will get you know the installation start, right? So let's see that. See, before you get started, you need a few setup or the few things so that we can configure your installation. Correct. So I have to click on the continue. Okay, what are the things are required? Right. So it's getting started with the Visual Studio installer. So the download is successfully done. Then the installed is done. So let's see that. You know, the, whatever the prerequisites are there, it has been getting downloaded automatically. Now, um, once you, you know, the landed on this page, you have to select two options. Okay. Uh, one is a .NET platform. Okay. So that is a desktop. You can see that the .NET desktop development tool, then the C sharp and visual basic and universal windows platform. Okay. So there's two things that I need right now. Okay, so that is a .NET native and .NET standard. Okay, so we will get it this. So we have to select these two options. Remember, one is .NET desktop, uh, this thing development and the universal windows platform development. Okay, and this is what even the location where you want to install this Visual Studio. Correct, and it requires the total space is required. That is, you know, the 18.87 GB. Okay, right. So, and installation. So, if you have, you know, the slower internet connection, you can download it and then you can install it. Right. Okay, so this is what it is steady. So, let me just click on the install button and let's start it. Now, uh, Visual Studio Community Edition. So it's downloading first, right? Okay, it is getting downloading and then it will start the installation procedure. So you have to click on this, you know, it start after installation. So once the installation gets start, then it will launch this Visual Studio Community Edition. Okay, okay. so I will take a little bit of pause and then we will continue this session. Uh, it will take little bit of time to get the installation done. So now it is in still process. Okay, now the installation is done. Okay, now let's see. So it will launch automatically, right? So we'll wait. Uh, Okay, so this is a Visual Studio Community Edition 2020. Now, uh, here it is asking to sign in with this Visual Studio or you have not now and maybe later. Yes, and if you don't have an account, you can create one account. So let's go with not now, uh, maybe later. Okay, uh, so here we have a development setting things, right? So the development setting, like whether we have to go with the visual C sharp, right? Web development, right? Or C++, visual basic. So you have to select this. So let's go with the general itself, right? Whether you are looking for the dark theme, blue theme, right? Visual studio theme, right? Or the light theme. 
so uh, let's go with the you know the light theme or uh, you give the blue extra anything so let's go with that and this is how you have to install this visual studio community edition thing so yes congratulations to get this installation done team and okay so this is what the landing page is we can create a new project and also we will see this later on how to create a new project uh, which option we should select and then we can start with you the selenium right so okay and thank you very much for watching this video